Hola, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo Gabriela. Soy tu profesora de español. I'm your Spanish teacher. And today we're going to learn how to say hello, how to ask, how are you doing in Spanish. ¿Ok? Hola. Comienzos y más finales. Nuestro aprendizaje depende totalmente de nuestro estado mental. So let's start with the most common question. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Right? That is the more common thing to say. However, there's two other questions that are very um, common as well. One of those is, ¿cómo te va? Can you say that? ¿Cómo te va? That means, how is it going for you? How is it going for you? ¿Cómo te va? Now, notice that I'm not saying va. I'm saying Ba, right? That's the sound. Ba, ba, ba. Just like the other, just like this one, right? These two letters sound the same way. Ba, ba. ¿Cómo te va? And then there's another way, and that is, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? That could be translated as, what's up? In Spanish, it's used in informal contexts. And also, in formal contexts, it's not improper, okay? So, ¿qué tal? Now, notice that these two letters together sound like k, k, right? Like queso, cheese. You probably know that word, queso. Every time we see this, it's not que, it's que. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? So, let's practice again, see? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Okay. If I was talking to somebody in a formal way, um, because it's my preference, maybe, or because I'm talking to somebody that is significantly older than me, then I might want to talk to that person in a more formal um, way. So I would say, hola. ¿Cómo está? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo está, señor? ¿Cómo está, señora? Señor, right? If you don't know what I'm saying, let me write it for you. ¿Sí? Like gentleman or mister, right? Or señora. Assuming that you don't know, you don't know their names, right? Señor, for a man. ¿Cómo está, señor? Or, ¿cómo está? Está, right? ¿Cómo está, señora? ¿Cómo está, señora? Okay. ¿Cómo te va? How is it going for you? Now, if I wanted to say this in a formal way, if you're curious like me, because I'm very curious, I would say, ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo le va? Let me write that down over here. Okay. It's como le, notice the difference, that is more formal, right? Como le va, como le va señor, como le va señora, right? Or formal, informal, we say, que tal, que tal amiga? ¿Qué tal, señor? ¿Qué tal, señora Smith? ¿Qué tal, señora López? ¿No? Entonces, um, these are three different ways in which we can ask, how are you doing? Now, how do we respond? Okay, so we can say the following. So, somebody asked you this, right? Now, somebody responds. <laughs> you can say, bien. 
Bien, gracias. Well, that's one way. Bien or bien, gracias. Muy bien, you can say that as well. Muy bien, gracias. Or if you're not feeling very well or not great, not terrible, right? You say más o menos, más o menos. Más o menos. Now, let me tell you something, okay? When somebody asks me how I'm doing, ¿Cómo estás, Gabriela? Oh, excelente. I always say excelente, magnífico, espectacular, estupendo. Let me write those, okay? Those are big words, but they're good, okay? Muy buenas palabras. Very good words. Muy buenas palabras. I love to be positive. So you can say excelente, okay? Over here, okay? Um... Or, how about this? Me va. So, somebody asks you, ¿Cómo estás? Or, ¿Cómo te va? Or, ¿Qué tal? You can even say, Me va. It's going for me. Right? Me va. Me va bien. But, if you want to be like me, <laughs> you're not going to say, Me va bien. You're going to say, um, Use this. You're going to say, me va excelente. Me va excelente. Me va excelente. You could say, me va magnífico. Right? Me va excelente. Me va magnífico. That's one way, so by saying me va, no? Me va. Me va excelente, me va. If you're not feeling well at all, you can say mal, which means literally bad. Okay, that means that it's not going well for you. Okay, so me va mal. Mal, not mal. Mal, okay? So, let me write it over here. Me va mal. Now, you can also say, instead of me va, or simply saying mal, bien, excelente, you can say estoy, which means I am. Right? You can say estoy. Estoy mal. I'm doing. Mm, estoy mal. Estoy muy mal. No? Estoy muy mal. Entonces, so here's where you make a comment, right? You might say, oh, that's great. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So let's talk about that, okay? So. Where do I write it? I don't have any more room. Let me erase my board. Listo. <laughs> okay. So let's review. So now there's nothing on the board, right? Let's see if we can remember the three ways in which we can ask how somebody's doing. Como, como estás, right? Como te va? Formally, como le va, right? Como le va. Um, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? And the funny thing is that it's not uncommon to hear the three questions at the same time. Not at the same time. Back to back, you know? We say, how are you doing? What's up? How's it going for you? Can you imagine asking that in English? Saying that in English would be too much, but it's not too much in Spanish. So, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va? So, that's not uncommon, okay? In case you hear that and you're like, whoa, wait. Why are they asking me the same, that's the same thing in three different ways? Um, okay, so me va bien, me va excelente, me va magnífico. 
Me va súper bien. Me va súper bien. Let me write that down. Okay. It's going for me. Me va súper. You can even say, me va súper. And that's, that's okay. You can also say, me va súper bien. Okay. Um... Me va, if you're not feeling great or, mm, me va más o menos, no? What would you say, más o menos? If somebody says that they're doing great, you would make a positive comment. Que bueno, somebody would say, no? Oh, again, que, que. Qué bueno. Qué bien. Same thing. Qué bien. Excelente. Somebody might say that to you as well. Magnífico. Qué bueno. Qué bien. Excelente. Magnífico. Um, however, if somebody tells you, me va más o menos. You say, oh, lo siento. Let me write that over here. You can say, right? You can say, oh, lo siento. I'm sorry. Now, what we're actually saying is, I feel it. Lo siento. It, I feel. Lo siento. Lo siento mucho. I feel it a lot. I'm very sorry. Lo siento mucho. And then here you ask, why? Por qué? You can say that. Por qué? Por qué? Why? Oh, porque estoy... Again, do you remember what that means? Estoy, I am. Estoy. And here's where you need to learn some vocabulary related to greetings and responses. You can say, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I'm hungry. I'm going to teach you just a few. So, ¿por qué? Because, porque estoy cansado. Estoy cansado. Now, now, because it ends in O, right? That means that the person who is tired is a boy or a man. If you're a girl or a woman, you would say, estoy cansada. So instead of O at the end, it would be like this, cansada. Estoy cansada. I'm tired. That's what I would say. Porque estoy cansada. Because I'm tired. Porque estoy cansada. Now, let me tell you, in Spanish, we're never hungry. What? <laughs> in Spanish, we have hunger. Okay, so you would say, I have hunger. So you would say, porque, right? One word, porque, as opposed to porque. Why? Porque. You respond, porque. I have hunger. Tengo. Not hambre, okay? It's hambre. I have, tengo, hunger. I have hunger. Tengo hambre. Or you could say, I'm sleepy, but actually we're never sleepy. We have sleepiness. So you would say, I have Sleepiness. Tengo. I have. Tengo. Right? Porque. Porque. Tengo. Sueño. Because I have sleepiness. Right? So again, somebody tells you, Oh, me va más o menos. Me va mal. Me va muy mal. Oh, lo siento mucho. 
¿Por qué? You can even say, ¿qué pasó? Not ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? If you've heard this before, that means, um, what, what's happening, right? Well, you can say that, ¿qué pasa? Well, true. Uh, you can also say, what happened? ¿Qué pasó? Right? Um, I might be able to write it over here. Now, forgive me if this doesn't look very organized. I'm not used to writing on a board. <laughs> um, ¿Qué pasó? What happened? And you say, oh, estoy cansado. Or you can say, ¿por qué estoy cansado? ¿Por qué tengo hambre? ¿Por qué tengo sueño? See? All right, guys. I hope that you have found this lesson helpful and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you would like more videos like this. Um, I keep working hard to make sure my whiteboard looks more organized. Um, but I'm very excited to be able to do this for you. Ciao!